And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Chelsea facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. This is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Aspili Quetta starts alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Mason Mount starts with Timo Werner out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And now the Champions League final commences. We could really get at the opposition, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Fine work from City to win the ball back. De Bruyne. That's how to rob them of possession. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Havertz. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Silva. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes round the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Must take the lead here. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And threading it forward, Werner, Kai Havertz, Conte, it's still alive, threat over for now it seems. Well you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score Derek, they've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. Real chance, just can't get it past him. And they'll get ready for the throw in. He could pick out a teammate. Grealish. De Bruyne at the ready. Well, he was being closely watched. Goal kick. Well, the defender knew he couldn't get to the ball first, but he just did enough to put him off there. Reese James. Of attacking possibilities. 
opportunity to take the lead. De Bruyne. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. He's driven in the corner. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. And Chelsea have given it away. Promising sequence. Could be. And in it goes. Manchester City strike first in the Champions League final. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Underway once more, Manchester City with the advantage. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Crisp tackling. Havertz here's Mount a sloppy pass Kevin De Bruyne it's a promising attack launched by De Bruyne and credit is due for that good piece of defending well, almost at half-time, not quite, but a story of Chelsea behind in this game. And Stuart, interested as always to oh, get your attention. can you finish it here, Derek? Really sound defending. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So back underway following the equaliser. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Half time then here in the English capital. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Havertz. Now with Jorginho. James. The Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage to them. Perfect ball now. How about this? Oh, 
And Kai Havertz, fine goalkeeping to push that away. Gabriel Jesus. Foden. It's a perfect challenge. And nicely cut out. And Chelsea with the ball again. They've got it now, what can they do? Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Mount. Might jump in front. Well, a nearly moment just over the top. Ruben Diaz. De Bruyne now. De Bruyne. Well, he likes to run at them. It needs an accurate cross. Walker. Alert defending. Good interception. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Moving it forward. And the cross is very much on. De Bruyne. Now with Jesus. Foden. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Havertz. Ball's gone. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. And no way to sugarcoat that one, Stuart. Well, sometimes it's worth having a shot from distance, but he never really set himself to hit that cleanly. A change in the offing for City. Well, this is going to be a frantic finish, and these Chelsea fans are certainly playing their part. There's probably one more big chance coming their way. If they take it, this place will go wild. De Bruyne. Could be. Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. Here's Mount. Progress made by Chelsea, and at this late stage, a goal. And what a moment for Chelsea! A late goal that could be so significant in this final.
Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. Questions have been asked of Manchester City. Now it's all about their answers. Good technique display. This could be it. In it goes. And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw us away from here. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Chelsea have returned to the high altar of European football. Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Chelsea. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.